everybody, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog, and this is going to be my ride and review of the Harley Davidson Street 500. The Street line is basically the urban brawler version of the Harley Davidson. It's a small, nimble, lightweight bike, uh, weighing in at around 491 pounds for both of them in full running order. And uh, they are a very short bike, narrow bike, and can get around this urban sprawl real easily. Liquid cooled engine allows you to run around in the town and be at stop and go traffic as well and not worry about the engine overheating as well. Uh, the 500 and the 750 do have slightly different looks as well. The 500, as you can see, is a pure blacked out bike, just like the 750, only, as you can see, that the engine does have blacked out fins, while the 750 has the machined aluminum style fins on there as well. Uh, your 500s will come in a solid paint scheme with the standard medallion on there, and the 750 will have more premium paint options with premium painted on labels and uh, markers as well. Uh, for 2017, they have updated the look. These bikes came out in 2015, uh, in the late 2014 as a 15 model, I should say. Uh, these bikes actually have changed the bullet style lights on each side uh, for the front and the rear indicators. Uh, they used to be an oval shape, but they have updated that as well. This year, they've also updated these bikes where they can have the security system and ABS. They've also changed the braking originally from uh, what it used to be back when they first came out. Let's go ahead and climb up on the 500 real quick and take a look around. As you can see, the 500 has a very simple uh, single speedometer in the front. Uh, right here, you change between two odometers, a clock, a gear uh, tachometer indication, and standard odometer. Uh, around here, you have oil light, neutral, bright, engine, and then you have your temperature warning, your turn signal indications, ABS if it is equipped at blink and fuel light as well. Now on these bikes they are a little bit different than your standard Harley Davidson. These bikes are intended for the international market so you have the more uh, standard in it type international controls. So over here you go left, push the cancel, right, push the cancel. Your bright is right here. There is no flash to pass. You do have your horn. And then over here you slide to engage the on position and here is your start button right here. We'll go ahead and start her up. Now these do come stock, very quiet. Uh, they are something that you can definitely use as a blank canvas. So if you want to put any, anything on there, any other additional accessories or anything, there's plenty of them for it. This bike looks pretty good as itself. I'll show some pictures of it all around. It's kind of a nice looking little cafe racer. It does have a fairly tall seat height, about 28 inches, but with that light weight, it does help out a little bit. And there are some reduced reach seats and some other accessories as well that you can purchase for these bikes whenever you take them. Let's go ahead and take it out around here real quick. This is actually my first ride on a 500. Usually I'm on the 750. Alrighty. Clutch response is about halfway through in the release. It does have a six-speed transmission, shifts really nicely. And surprisingly, power is not too bad. I've rode several different 500cc bikes before, and this one being a V-twin versus a parallel twin does help it out a little bit because it does have a little bit more in the torque department than most of your parallel twins. Usually a parallel twin engine will have about half as much torque as it would horsepower. With V-Twins, you actually get a little bit more torque. This one has right around 30 torque and somewhere around 35 horsepower. So it's not the most powerful bike in the world, but still, it's only carrying around 400 and, like I said, close to 90 pounds, so it's not too bad at all. And this is the bike that they actually use for the uh, Harley-Davidson Rider program as well. Definitely can hang with traffic just fine without any problem. And it's a good time to test it too, because even though it's a lighter bike, it's one of these things where you can get out here and, and it's Oklahoma, so you have the wind. So if you're worried about how the wind will treat you and throw you around, to be honest, I'm not being thrown around too much at all right now.
when it comes to this between the 750 and the 500 you definitely have to hold the gear a lot longer than you normally would the 750 does have quite a bit more power uh, it has around 53 horsepower and 44 foot-pounds of torque so it has quite a bit more in the numbers and it actually can hang with the Sportsters in many ways in terms of acceleration and the way the bike feels but this chassis is a lot more nimble than the uh, Sportster. As you can see, barely any bar input and this bike is ready to turn. Uh, this bike is actually a bike that I've had before. I've had a street platform and it was the 750 version. But the one thing that I noted was it's a really good, fantastic bike. It's a bike that I actually loved riding. It was one of my favorite engines on a bike. This one here, being that it is a little bit less powerful, does have a little bit more to be desired than the 750 but it's still great because the one thing about it is you don't need a super powerful bike if you want to take it out and run around town and uh, maybe go to the grocery store or something like that and run some simple errands with i mean that's the great thing about a bike this size you can just simply run out grab a couple of things to eat or run out and see some friends get good gas mileage these bikes will get around mid 50s in terms of the fuel economy and uh and they stand they trust me they make it just fine uh, so this is a perfect bike for that because you do get a little bit more power You do have the ability to run up on the highway if you want to say starting with a 250 Because some people will start with a brand new bike and get a 250 and uh, They simply grow out of them so quickly But this is a bike that you can start with and keep around for a long time to come because it does still handle interstate speed It does still handle the traffic just fine. Like I said, it's a windy condition and you can see I'm very stable because it does have enough weight and enough center and the lower center of gravity that these kind of bikes have, it does help you on the road a lot better. Accidentally bumped the horn. <laughs> At any rate, um, when it comes to the bike itself, uh, the engine is derived from the night rod engine or the V-rod engine. It is a 60 degree V-twin, unlike the Harley tra or traditional 45 degree. And uh, this particular bike is liquid cooled just as much as the night rod is as well. And like I said, that makes it perfect for around town because you're gonna be able to get out there and uh, grab some groceries and uh, you know go out between stops and go to school, whatever you wanna do. That's what this bike is perfect for. It's designed to be in the city. It is designed to be the urban uh, type bike. And as you can tell, it turns great. I mean, this bike has a very good turning angle. Uh, when you're on the right side, just be a little bit cognizant of where your um, your uh, exhaust is. That's the only thing that I will say is that whenever you are riding one of these bikes, it does tend to uh, hit the exhaust pretty quick on the right side, uh, but it can turn very, very well going to the left, as you just saw. So when it comes down to it, is the Street 500 a great bike? It is a great place to start, that's for sure. Uh, if you're not quite sure if you can handle the power of the 750, this is a good place to start. Like I said, you could keep going with this bike. This is a bike that you could keep for a long time to come and have it maybe as your backup bike. So you, if you ever upgrade to a bigger bike, say a Street Glide or a Softail or Dyna Series, this would be the great bike to have in the garage that can still run around town for you. And then you can jump up on your other bike and go a longer range. At any rate, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog talking about the Street 500. If you have any more questions regarding the Street, let me know in the, the comments below. I'll also be posting the specifications like the MSRP and other things in the description below as well. So that way you can know uh, what everything is on this bike. At any rate, keep that shiny side up. Have a great one.